Hey, what's up you guys and welcome back to the farm. Today we're going to be working on hauling our hay and getting some of that done. Uh, we're starting off in this field here. Uh, just picked it out of randomness, I guess. And uh, so we're going to start by hauling out of this field. I'm not exactly sure how many bales I can get on this trailer. Uh, this is actually my first time using this trailer aside from when I tested it after first downloading it. Um, I did try it out just a little bit when I downloaded it, but I only made like three bales because I just cut a little portion of hay. Uh, I was more so testing out all the machines that I was planning to use on this series because uh, I just wanted to make sure that everything was going to work okay and whatnot. So um, I just did a little bit of testing work with it and I only made three bales off of the little bit that I cut but like I said I didn't really cut much because it was just for testing purposes so so now we're gonna jump out here and grab us a good old screenshot for our thumbnail um, P15. Okay, I just want to make sure that I'm doing that. EP15. Otherwise, I'm going to get my screenshots all messed up, too. There we go. Okay, so now we can take one for uh, steam and stuff. Steam into post. I'm going to have a whole lot of screenshots of haymaking on here. And okay, so now we should be able to slide right out from this bale. Perfect. So far, so good in terms of uh, hauling these bales. Sometimes bales will play nice for me, and other times, not so much. So it's just kind of hit or miss sure it's probably just that way in general not really lined up that well with this bale okay and our forks are perfect if these bales were bigger it'd make it a little bit easier as well uh, I know some people have figured out a way to make bigger bales um, Somebody said that it's in the XML file, but I've never really looked, I guess, so I wouldn't know, but uh, I do know somebody that's working on the uh, John Deere 568 round baler that was done by Polygonish, um, and he is adding bigger bales to it. Or working on setting it up for bigger bales or something like that um, but how you do that I'm not exactly sure but it would definitely be nicer to have bales much bigger than you know this 4,000 liters that these bales are but they get the job done like these are tiny compared to the bales that uh, we make our bales are ginormous compared to these little guys. Like, just how big ours are, I don't actually know. Like, I don't think we've ever really, like, weighed them or anything to figure out how much they weigh or anything. Uh, and in terms of size, I personally don't know what they are. I'm sure if I asked like my dad or my uncle they would know but I have no idea personally just how big ours are but they're not little bales that's for sure let's see so I'm thinking 10 just about 20 bales on this trailer at a time if that's the case 
Um, about four loads, and we'll have all of our hay hauled. Maybe. Because we can either fit four or five on the bottom. I'm not exactly sure yet at this point. But it's starting to look kind of like five. So this trailer does have the option when you buy it, you can get it with these back and front pieces, or you can get it without it. I got it with, because I figured that'd be a little bit better, especially for these hills. Uh, on this map, there's you know less chance of our bale rolling right off uh, the back end or something like that, which would not be fun. That's for sure. All right, let's get lined up with this bale here and pick it up. So I'm going to load the bottom of the trailer first because I have a feeling that like if this thing it should hold 5 it kind of looks like it, but we're going to find out for sure here in a moment. But, um, you know, if this thing does hold five, after putting that fifth bale on, it'll kind of squeeze everything together and, um, you know, just make everything fit. And actually, we can put hay on that. So that'll actually give us two more bales that, you know, like, it'll give us space to haul two more bales. So, or four bales actually. I could say two more bales on either side, but it'll give us room to haul another four bales. Uh, so we'll have to figure that out, but I want to load this bottom part first. Uh, yeah, it looks more like four. I don't think we're going to be able to squeeze in that fifth one that much. I don't think there's that much room between these bales that we can wiggle in a fifth bale on that side there. So far this is working out way better than the last time that I uh, worked with round bales. Actually it wasn't so much the hauling that didn't quite work out very well. It was more so the um, stacking it at the farm that kind of got messed up. And then I just said heck with it and I went and bought an auto load trailer. Because I was getting tired of dealing with it. So we got 8, 10, 12, 14, so possibly 18 bales, either 14 or 18 bales, we'll find out. Uh, we got to put, we got to put two more bales on that side, yep. And we got four more bales in this field here to pick up, and then we'll, uh, probably pick up a couple of ditch bales that are sitting just outside of the field here and we'll be able to grab one as we move our way up to that other field as well so I'm not very straight or like lined up between the two sides very well but not want to budge that too far that could have ended badly Ooh. right there here's about perfect I'm just glad that these bales aren't like flying off after I you know after the end of the spike gets to them as I'm taking it off of the spike because that would not be fun. We're gonna grab this little one sitting up here in the grass. Let's see, my oh, yeah, won't be too bad to line up to. Wasn't sure if it would be uh, easy or not. Let me get my forks aligned a little better there. There we go. All right. Get 
this last one on there on the uh, bottom part here in fact I do have a way that we can uh, kind of get these bales a little bit closer together and a little bit more aligned but Ah, oh, heck with it. Let's just try it once. I'm just kind of curious to see. Okay, unfold. X. Perfect. It actually worked. For the most part. I did kind of hop around a little bit. Let's see if we can't get this one on there just a little bit better. Ooh. <laughs> I got one on a little better and one came off a little bit. Okay, maybe I should have just left it alone. <laughs> it probably would have worked out a little better had I done that. And now we'll just tilt our spear down and we'll just push it on there a little bit. Or not. I think we're just gonna have to re spear that one. Uh, I should have just left it alone. Should have left it. Right there should be fine. So I'm just gonna barely spear this thing. We're not going very far with it. I'm just getting a little straighter better in there perfect okay so we're gonna run down here and grab these two at the end of the field and we'll put them on there and then we'll grab those two over there maybe uh, we'll probably just leave those until we work our way down that way again drop our forks a little bit uh, I could have gone on there a little bit farther than that but we still can there we go oh thought I was heading straight for the tractor there for a moment Okay, now comes the fun part, the second layer. That's always fun. And I say that in a very sarcastic way because that's usually where I run into problems. <laughs> but so far so good. I don't have any wood sitting next to me, otherwise I'd say knock on wood, and, oh wait, my desk is wood. Knock on wood. <laughs> um, we're going to have to see if uh, these bales are going to stay nice for me. So I don't know if I'm going to stack them. I may actually stack them in that feed shed. Um just because they might stay a little better in there they're probably not gonna mess up quite as easily whoa quite as easily as they will seen in that open shed so I think that's probably what I'm gonna do is just we'll stack them in that feed barn there uh, in the yard I mean once we get to where we're making more hay because we have more cows then we'll probably stack them in that shed there or that little kind of awning building type thing but till then we'll probably just leave them um, you know just keep stacking them in that shed there so we're gonna go ahead we're gonna get this strapped down R R R and then we'll wait with that strap well actually we better strap the whole load down uh, and then we'll unstrap most of these 
once we get to the field. But this way we can just make sure everything's going to stay. Um, so when we get over to the other field, we'll put two bales right there. And I think we might even be able to strap them. Me, uh, we might be just on the edge of them. So it may not work. Let's see, do I want to go grab those two? Nah. So we'll just take this tractor over. We'll grab that one that uh, we have to drive by there. On our way up to the field. We're already just about halfway through this vid video. So I think I'm just going to shut this timer off because my goal, we'll just haul one load. We'll haul this first load, get it, um, you know, get it loaded, get it moved, get it unloaded, get it stacked, and then we'll uh, be able to end the video there. But I don't want to just like barely get it to the farm and then the timer is ending. So I don't really care if... Uh, if I'm having to make this video a little longer. So we're going to get this up here on this road where it's going to lay flat. Because as you can see, it's not flat right now. It's just because of how it was sitting in the... You know, the angle that it was sitting there in the ditch. In fact, we have quite a few bales up there to pick up as well. In fact, I think we'll grab... Whoa! That was my bad. I forgot about that. Crap. Huh. Okay, we're gonna have to grab the pickup here. Man. I forgot that that tractor is so tippy. I mean, that tractor's tippy whether the loader is on it or not but it's especially tippy when I have the loader up a little bit and the there we go and the bale on the fork there okay we're just gonna park this guy right here for now Okay, let's get this bale picked back up now. So yeah, we are going to go pick up these ones uh, alongside the road here first. Okay. This is where like the auto loader trailers come in so much handier and stuff, but they're just nowhere near as realistic. Just trying to think of how I want to put this trailer in here to begin with. Um, but let's go ahead and grab the tractor. Got a pretty decent load of hay on. So if we can fit uh, two more up in front of those bales and two along that back part there, we'll really be sitting okay in terms of our hay. Uh, or amount that we can haul in a load because we got we got 10 on here right now with room for at least six more if not eight more so we can haul or excuse me four more so we can haul anywhere from 14 to 18 bales at a time I'm hoping it's 18 that'll make things go by so much faster uh, we'll be able to get everything in five loads the other way would probably take us maybe six or seven loads I mean I know it really doesn't seem like it's all that much more but in reality it is uh, much more okay I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to fit the be able to stack bales on with the trailer sitting right like this or not wait where did I miss a strap oh there was one way up there so that'll be able to grab onto these top bales that we put on here 
or that we're about to put on, I guess I should say. lined up a little bit here. Alright, and we are clear for landing. So I just want to see if this strap is in fact going to grab on. Sweet, it will. Awesome. So this is going to work out perfectly. We will be able to haul 18 bales on this trailer at a time. So, it is going to work just fine. It's going to work perfectly. should have turned a little sooner than I did there. It is kind of narrow here to get these on. I think I'd probably be better off just putting the trailer facing one side or just like ooh, uh, just like move the trailer over to one side of the road and then just load that one side and then switch over and load the other side. You know, then just like back it up or even pull it forward and just load that other side up. Although, I don't know if there's enough here that we'd actually fill this trailer. Off of just these ditch bales right here. Okay, so now we can put a couple of tarps on, or uh, a couple of tarps, a couple of straps on here. That's all that we'll do for now. So we get a few more bales on there. So we are, I am going to move this trailer here. You see, I think I got just that one more down on that end. So I got enough that we can fill this one side of the trailer um, from these. I don't think there's a way into that field. No. So then there's two, four, six, eight, ten. 12 of them over there. So there's not quite another full load left in that field. Of course, we are going to take a couple out of there for this load, so... Okay, so these ones we're going to have to pull out of here by hand and turn them around. So that way we can get in here to spear them. In fact, we can actually should just be able to drop it right here. Just like that. And the other one is right here. Bingo. this thing loaded here definitely a little bit more roomy here now Alright, there's 
that one. There's two more to complete this side of the trailer. And we'll probably just strap it down a little bit. I'll maybe throw like a strap or two on uh, just to make sure that everything stays between, you know, in the travel between where we are now over to where we got to go, over to where we got to get to to load those bales there. <clears throat> uh, I'm not exactly sure where I want to park to load those bales yet because of the insane hill there. Whoa, I almost tipped it again. I need to remember that. Of course, I'll probably remember it the next time that I tip it, of course, because that's usually how things work. You're like, oh, I need to remember about that, you know, not to do that, and then, oh, I just did it. Guess I forgot to remember it until now. Alrighty. Grab this one last bale on this end. Getting lined up just a little bit better on that one. I guess in a way I could use mouse controls, but they're not, and they aren't quite as smooth as the joystick controls are. You know, that that seems to just kind of run it a little bit smoother than not. Uh, all else, hmm. I don't know. Maybe we might not be able to fit two more on this back end here. It's gonna be a pretty tight fit. I don't know if we'll be able to strap it or not though that's the biggest thing if we can't strap it that means it's gonna go everywhere oh yeah so we'll just throw a couple of straps on there and okay so now we'll go move up here and grab the last three bales that we need to finish off this load and then we'll get this thing unloaded I think I'll just go ahead and grab this one and bring it down by those other two. Then we can just bring the trailer down on that end of the field. And uh, we don't have to move it at all for anything. We can just leave it down here by these. In fact, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull it right inside the field. Easy tractor, easy. Okay, so we're gonna try and turn this monster around. And we're just gonna barely drive it into the field. That would not be fun to tip this trailer. Oh jeez, I can see those bales just tipping right off. I think what we're gonna have to do is drive it. We're gonna have to leave this on the road. I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking we're gonna have to do here. That's gonna be our best bet. Our safest bet, not to mention. There won't be any com anybody coming down this road here anyways, so. Okay, so let's untarp, or unstrap, I mean. 
Uh, these three. Actually, no. Let's just unstrap this one at a time. So we'll uh, put that bale in, and then strap that, and then unstrap that, so on and so forth. You guys get the idea. I would think, anyways. <laughs> but, um, yeah, then that'll help prevent those bales from falling. So if anything falls, it's just going to be this bale straight in front of us that uh, would fall. Jeez, doesn't help the fact, help it that uh, I kind of am ramming it there a little bit, but okay, so let's get this thing strapped. Strap there, strap there. Uh, we'll wait with that strap until we get that bale on just to see if it's going to grab that bale or not. There would be a bad place to tip over. It'd be straight in the water. There we go. So we got that one. Just about done with this load. And I think what I'll do, we'll probably just stack a couple of the bales on camera. Because, I mean, it's a lot of the same thing. Yikes. That could have been disastrous. Thank goodness it was not, though. Alright. Same procedure. I didn't really grab anything of that, so... Wouldn't have really mattered if we had put it on or not. Alright, so that's... There's just one strap on there now. Wait a second here. Oh, it shows up. Oh, okay. I noticed the little uh, circle there. On the screen. It was like, I know I turned that circle off. If you guys aren't sure what I'm talking about, it's the uh, crosshair, this game calls it, this little white circle. Um, if you have the game extension mod, you can uh, turn that off. Uh, if you download game extension and press the I key, um, it'll take you to the menu for the game extension script. And that is one of the things that are in there. Along with the uh, farmer's touch is what they call it. That's basically where you can where when you walk into a field um, let me show you guys here what I'm talking about it'll be a little easier to explain so if you see growth status wheat harvested how that pops up when you come onto the field that is this farmers touch so cr show crop status on screen when on field walking player only then you have the screenshot mode you have your vehicle HUDs uh, let's just turn that off once Oh, is that... I think I know what that is. No, no, maybe not. Huh, I don't know. Not exactly sure, but... Doesn't much matter to me anyways, I guess. Alright, final bill to go on this trailer here. Whoa. That one's not sitting too well, so I really don't want to bump that one. I think we're going to have to drive around the back side of this trailer here. Yeah, we're going to have to drive around and fix that one. Especially since it just fell off. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop, 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 stop. So 
but we're gonna have to try and fix this here if at all possible close and it's like making that one wiggle it's kind of weird I'm sure it's probably just because it's actually not meant to have bales on the back end of the trailer here like this but anyway let's go ahead and throw this strap on there and get that to stay all right and then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna get this thing put on to follow me mod and just have it follow the follow us in the other tractor. So we're gonna go right control F and at our behind distance. Yeah, we'll leave that at 20, I think. Perfect. Oh, not backwards. Oh, crap. And that just took off all of my straps. I really need to fix that where one of the key... The key that is on my keyboard that... Uh, or on my side panel that changes from being in reverse to being in forward gear. It uh, is also set up with... Is that thing not coming? Uh, it's also the game auto generated the setting for the straps to that same key and I need to remove it I just haven't gone and done it yet uh, which is my bad but I need to do it because it's it's really really annoying that every time something that has straps in it that every time that I go forward um, well select it's only well selected on that like if I was pulling a trailer and I was selected on that trailer, um, if the trailer didn't have straps, it wouldn't do anything. If the trailer has straps, it'll do it to the trailer too. But yeah, it just kind of gets annoying. Okay, so we're gonna stop this here. We're gonna get that guy to stop there. And I'm just gonna pull this right here I'm gonna leave the straps on and we can just take those off as we go as well and we're just gonna open this door get some light in get some light on the subject maybe not really I guess uh, there's the light switch huh doesn't really look brighten anything up too majorly but Okay, so let's, we're going to unload probably three or so bales before we uh, end the video here. Just because this, this is going to take a really good amount of time. And because it's just the same thing over and over from here on out. I mean, it was the same thing over and over to load this trailer in the first place. <laughs> but it's really repetitive to unload it as there is really not much that you can do it's just you spear the bale and then you put it next to the previous one and so on so it is it is kind of boring to do Like I said, we will unload a few of them here. Now, I think that we'll stack these down here on the end. 
start anyways. We can always uh, move to other stalls if we need to, but we're just going to start right here. And we'll start on this side, I think. Whoa. Yes, that, that got a little close. Guess there must be a collision there of some sort. I'm sure there's probably a collision on these walls. For like dumping stuff in there. So I think I'll be able to put three across there. I don't know if I am going to stack on the bottom as well. Or on top of these bales in the shed. Or not. Uh, and I'm just going to see if I can grab that grab on the other side or not too if I can that would save me so much work and so much time because I wouldn't have to just unload one side of the trailer completely and then move the tractor around to unload the other side oh yeah perfect bingo my loader was dragging on the ground there. So I'm put this one right up next to the other one. At least as best as I can. It's definitely not that easy to stack bales in farm sim. That, what the world was that? Okay, maybe we will um, have to use, do things this way here a little bit. In fact, the stacking is actually a little bit easier that way. What the, maybe? <laughs> Okay, yeah, maybe we just won't put it all the way over, or all the way back. So maybe we will just move them by hand then. Ah, jeez. Even this is difficult. Especially when they want to keep moving on you. Hmm. Ah. Jeez. I thought I'd put it down. Guess not. And of course now it's stuck in the wall. Okay, I got a better idea. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. I'm going to figure out a better way to stack these bales here. Um, and we'll come back here tomorrow and we'll haul the uh, last load of hay. Oh, there they dropped in now. And we'll get our last load of hay hauled. And um, then get ready to do some fertilizer and chemical applications. So thanks for watching, you guys. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Be sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Be sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. Be sure to check out down below in the description for my PC specs, my upload schedule, as well as links to all of my social medias and some other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Thanks for watching, you guys, and as always, we'll see you tomorrow.